Hey guys, Kev Speck, welcome back to the channel. Well, here we are today. We've got Brandon, the owner of this beautiful Sunburst XR50 Turbo. This is the FG Falcon, just like mine, but it's a, a different model. This is the, it's an XR6 Turbo, but it's the 50th anniversary. So they threw in a few little extra trims and a few other little bits. It's mainly trim, wasn't it, on the XR50? Uh, interior is different. They get great access on the front and the rear. Righto. Indicator mirrors and the guide badges. Okay, so there's a few little cosmetic changes on the XR50 just to make it enough to, to be its own model. Um, this one's quite heavily modified, as you can see. This is sunburst, but it has been painted. There's a slight tinge in the paint, is that correct, Brandon? They've, I think so. It's, it's put just a slight tinge in it. Pops a bit more. Yeah, it definitely, look, this color, sunburst, it's the, the day is really, really showing the color today, and this car is popping in the sun. Absolutely beautiful color and beautiful car. Well, um, I'll get Brandon to explain a couple of the mods in this car. So as you can see, it's it's been bagged, it's aired right down. So this car has airbag suspension. Um, I'll get I'll get into it a bit more in a minute. Um, we'll just get Brandon to tell you what kind of suspension's in this, Brandon. Oh, it's just the airbags all around. Uh, Do you know the brand of them or? No, I know the rears are from Aeroid and the fronts were made by MFD Automotive in right. Bendigo. Now I believe your girlfriend surprised you with this she, suspension she package did. for your birth. So she how's did. that? The, the girlfriend's in on the build. She loves it. I believe uh, a couple of birthdays ago he got a surprise and uh, got a whole heap of Aeroid suspension for his pride and joy. So they're keeping it in the family. Um, heading on to uh, the engine bay side, we all want to know the performance side of stuff. Um, so this owner's um, got some really tasteful mods on these, like we most do. Bit of fuel, bit of exhaust, bit of turbo. Um, I'll just get Brandon to go over the mods on this beautiful uh, XR50. You can see he's painted the rocket cover, colour coded to the car. The engine bay looks really clean. Um, what have you done to it? So what turbo's on it? Is it just the factory turbo? Or? Mm, no, it's got a Pro Charge 64mm stage 4. Right. So it's got a 64mm wheel at the front and a 9 blade rear. Yep. yep. Good for about 600 kilowatt. Yep, yep. Um, four inch KS racing exhaust, valve springs. So it's got the aftermarket valve springs. Yep. Has it got head studs as well? No. No, it hasn't got Not head yet. studs. So he's, he's playing with fire a little bit. How much boost is it running? I think 18 pound. Yeah, 18 pound. As you probably know, guys, barras, that's sort of playing with limits on, on the old head gasket. But uh, so far, so good. These things are pretty strong. Um, so you've got the valve springs, you've got the upgraded turbo. Um, it's got a full exhaust, you yeah, said? four inch. A full four inch exhaust. Yep. What, do you know what brand that uh, one is? KS Racing. KS Racing. It does really sound nice. We'll, we'll get a bit of footage on this uh, out on the road later. It really sounds really tough, this one. It's got the turbo side uh, airbox fitted. Uh, what brand is that one? Is that, that just a. Uh, that one's Ants Performance. Ants Performance. I know Ants Performance. They do a lot of uh, you know little engine based stuff, the intercooler piping and stuff like that. So it's really nice package with the airbox, the turbo. Um, it's got an aftermarket intercooler, has it? Yes, it does. What, what the intercooler uh, we got Process on? West Stage 2. Yeah, that's pretty popular. That's the same intercooler that I'm running. Very popular, the Process West Stage 2 intercoolers here in Australia. Um, they're good for anything up to probably 600 kilowatt. They suffer around the 600 kilowatt mark. You probably need to step up to the 100 mil big boy race sort of series, but who, who needs that sort of power, right? No. Uh, what, what sort of power is it making? Uh, it makes 365 rubble kilowatt. 365 rear wheel kilowatt guys, so that's what, damn close to 500 horsepower? Yeah, I think it's just under. Just under 500 horsepower at the wheels, so more than enough for a, a beautiful cruiser like, like it is. And um, we'll take you for a bit more of a look around the car now and what else has been done. What, anything we've missed in the engine bay? No, nah. no, nah. nah, it's pretty much it. All right, we'll have a bit of a quick look around the, um, around the car now. Alrighty guys, so as I mentioned before, you can see this car's airbag that sits bloody beautiful. Like just, the owner's done a couple of tasteful um, modifications. So this front lower lip is actually not factory. That's an aftermarket front lower lip, just to give it a little bit more aggressive look. To accompany the, uh, the front lip, it's got F6 side skirts and an F6 rear bar. Just just subtle changes on the body kit, just enough to make this thing really pop and look nice. That F6 rear bar. This car's sitting on beautiful Koya 20 inch SF04 wheels in a, like a gunmetal charcoal -y grey. The owner's also done the Brembo brake upgrade. Got the Brembos there, bit of stopping power to match the, the going power. So just an all-round beautiful package. Great paint, subtle body kit. Looks sexy as bagged down on its 20-inch wheels. Some tasteful engine mods. And I think you'll uh, agree that this sly rig is one hell of a rig. 
The owner's also done a full interior uh, remodel. Absolutely magic. I'll give you a look. And so have a look at this beautiful interior. It's been fully redone. Beautiful seats. It's got the center console lid recovered. Some tasteful gauges. A couple of gauges there. Got his triple gauge pot on the... Absolutely mint. Really, really nice. Sunroof. Just a complete package, this car. Really is. Absolutely beautiful. What do you think, guys? Maybe something for Kevspec to look at in the future? Cost a, cost a bit of coin. Okay, yeah, so you can get an interior like this. It's going to cost you somewhere between three to 5000 depending on exactly what you want, the stitching, the materials. Every little bit that you add on always adds up. Absolutely beautiful. Door trims all done. XR50 embroidery in the seats. Magic. Hey guys, here I am in the Sly Rig. So I'm going to take this for a bit of a drive and give you my, uh, give you my thoughts. Obviously I've got an FG, so it's going to be very similar. But these cars are worlds apart. Different suspension, different everything, different interior, different seats. It's got GTP. Like these seats have been recovered, but they're GTP seats. So they've got a bit more bolstering and they feel really nice and snug. So let's take this bad girl for a bit of a spin and I'll see how she feels. So I must say, I do love this uh, chunky steering wheel. It's got an aftermarket steering wheel. It feels really nice. That four inch exhaust, ooh, sounds meaty, I like it. Yeah, so I've never driven a car on airbags before, so this will be a first for me. Still feels pretty tight. I was expecting it to be a bit bouncy or a bit, a bit soft, if anything. It's actually quite firm. Well, she sounds bloody nice, guys, I tell you. So this uh, 2010 XR50 anniversary spec FGA XR6 Turbo does not disappoint. Makes all the right sounds, I bloody love it. Skate on this guy, so she has a bit of a bark. Yeah, she drives really nice, guys. It's bloody beautiful. Got the gauges there, bit of boost. What can I say? The car just does not disappoint. Brandon, the owner's done a magnificent job. It's got the Brembo, so it brakes well. I really like this in, uh, steering wheel. He's got the aftermarket chunky sports steering wheel. Just feels really tight. To be honest, a couple little clunks from the suspension, but you've got to expect that when a car's got airbags. The control arms and some of the suspension components don't like the limits that they're put to, so they're going to make a bit of noise, but totally safe and totally fine, just a little noisy. But you can't beat the noise that the car makes. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This is going to be it for the Kevspec review of the Sly Rig. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to chuck a comment in if you like these sort of things. Kevspec doing reviews. Give us a like and put a comment in that you want to see more of it. Definitely got plenty more cars in the club to review. 
and uh, we'll get some more reviews happening for you. Kev Spec signing out. Stay safe and love yous. You.